All right, here we have some yellow colossal and some yellow stuffing tomatoes. Now, the yellow stuffing tomato is this baby here. They've got a, uh, a, a bit of a tough skin like a capsicum, only they're a softer type fruit. So it's almost like a cross between a capsicum and a tomato. And they call it a stuffing tomato. In this case, this is a yellow one. Um, when you cut it open, it looks very much like a tomato, although it's a little hollower, more like a capsicum, um, except it's quite soft on the inside and it's got some more seeds. So these will be used to stuff, just like you would stuff a capsicum. Um, you can eat them just like normal on toast or bread, um, or just by themselves. They're beautiful with a bit of salt and pepper. The other tomato I have here of any relevance is a yellow colossal. Now this fella looks a bit more orange, because it's been picked quite late. And they do go a darker yellow, but um, they can get quite large. I might have a larger one here, that's why they call it colossal. Like this one. Now that's a ripper. That's probably about 500 grams or more, maybe 600. That'd be beautiful on toast. Tastes exactly the same as a red tomato, really. And over here, I've got where I dry my seeds for my tomatoes. Sometimes if I cut a tomato on for brekkie and I have a lot of seeds left on the chopping board and I know what kind they are, uh, I'll just um, dry them out on a piece of toweling. Or well, my preferred method is to put them in a glass or a container. And this was gone probably a few days too long, but nevertheless the concept is, um, is pretty well illustrated by the mould on top. And when they go all mouldy, and sludgy, I then rinse them with water through a sieve and collect the seeds and that way you can be rest assured that the seeds have fermented and uh, all or most disease, if there was any, has been uh, killed off. Once I, uh, once I dry them off, I can then put them in little packets and store them. And that's it. So now all I've got to do is wash these beautiful big tomatoes and uh, get them ready or some of them for tea tonight.